If you hear my cat in the background, he's being a cat. So get out if you don't like it. But anyway, I crochet. I'm pretty good at it. Um, I'm pretty fast at it. But I don't crochet amigurumi. I don't even know if that's how you say it. But you know, 3D plushies, I don't do that. I want to, but I don't. I'm a blanket girl. I'm a, a pillow girl. This was a, a pillowcase that I made. It doesn't look good. Don't mind it. I'm a sweater girl. I crocheted that bag up there. I have crocheted one thing that was like 3D amigurumi style and that was strawberry earrings. I crocheted these little, these are prototypes, but I, I crocheted these little strawberry earrings and they're beautiful and I love them. Like, But they're quick, they're small, they're little. They were easy for me to figure out. Another thing you should know about me is that I take on projects that are way too big for me to handle. For example, I don't knit, but the first thing when I wanted to learn how to knit the first thing, the first project that I decided to work on was a shirt. I gave up after casting on. It was, I kept dropping stitches. It was not fun, but I, I take on projects that are too big for me, okay? With that being said, obviously I am going to crochet Luca Pagudo without a pattern. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I'm gonna take you along on my journey of trying to figure out how to do it. I found one video on someone crocheting Alberto from Luca, uh, but it's in another language. So for the blue parts of Luca, I have Lion Brand Anti Pill, their basic stitch in the colors. Is it baby blue and royal blue? I think these are going to be good colors. If they're not, they're not like perfect matches for the animation, but I don't care. So the green colors that I have, I have three different options. I have, these two are the ones I think I'm going to use. I have, I love this cotton from Hobby Lobby that I bought a long time ago in the colors pistache and apple green. I also have this green to choose from. This is 24 seven cotton by the Lion brand in the color grass. The goal is to get this done today. I'm a fast crocheter. I'm speedy. I'm speedy fast. But I don't know. We probably won't get this done today. And I'm looking to make it pretty, like this big. You know, like, eh, like this big. So I ended up having to go to Michael's and Hobby Lobby. I ended up getting, I love this yarn, Sport. Super Soft Sport. What is it? Yeah. Super Sport. Wait. I love this yarn, super soft, super saving, sport weight neons. That's what I ended up getting. It is in the color green neon. This is our color palette. I'm probably gonna switch onto my bed because I like to crochet on my bed. But yeah.
finished the first blue part of the leg. I had to restart again because I took out my stitch marker and didn't mark it and I also wasn't counting my rows. So I had to redo it, but this is what the first leg in the blue looks like. It's not the whole leg, I want it to be taller, but I wanna add some green for the shorts the darker green so that is what I'm gonna do all right I have finished both of the legs I have to finish off this one by slip stitching it and cutting them off and then I have to fill them so I'm gonna go get some polyfill and I'm gonna stuff them and attach them and I will update you in a little bit it is currently my swatch died it's currently 5 43 so it's about six o'clock I'd like to have this done by eight that might be wishful thinking but I'd like to have it done by eight I don't know what I did anymore, and I don't know how many stitches I have anymore, and I have no idea what I'm doing. This is what I have so far. It is seven o'clock, so I have about an hour before my goal, but I doubt I'm gonna finish that by then. Maybe, I still have the head and the tail and the arms to do. Um, I basically just, I don't even remember where I left off, but I, was, I just decreased and increased a bunch of times. I definitely made the legs too wide. <laughs> the legs are ginormous. Um, in proportion to the body. So if I were to do this again, I would definitely make the body bigger or I would make the legs thinner, like smaller. But you know, you live and you learn. It's eight and I've made zero progress. <laughs> so I did decreases and I like, which it's kind of, lopsided but we will make up with that we'll make up for that with the stuffing i'll just stuff a little extra on this side <music> Hmm. <laughs> yeah, um, not looking too good. Honestly, okay, first of all, this is the front of the body. This is the front of the head. Great. Um, have to undo my, my sewing. Second, it's kind of top heavy. Not that big of a deal, um, except it kind of is because right now it's like a weapon. I don't know how I'm gonna fix that. Now I know the head is pretty big, right? It's like big, okay? So I know why it's top heavy. I definitely don't like how long the neck is once it's sewn on. I didn't think that that would happen at all. Also, 
I don't know. I don't know. We're just gonna figure it out. Okay, update. Um, I did end up taking the neck down one row and I am crocheting a cylinder to put in the neck and the head. And like I stuffed it. So it's like really, it's like stiff. I still don't think it's gonna work. I think I'm gonna have to make this pretty long. And then I'm gonna sew the cylinder inside so that it stays put. This idea was Sweet Softies on YouTube. I watched her video and she said to do this, especially if it's for kids, because you can still wash them and they're, it's not like wires poking through. So that is what I'm going to do. Okay. So I got the head. It's a little wonky. Not gonna lie, it's a little wonky, but it's on there and it's not that wobbly. Like it's wobbly, but it's not like falling over. Now I am gonna take a break because I've been crocheting for six hours. Six hours. And I still have to do the hair, the arms, the tail, and then figure out how I'm gonna do the face. almost and I'm going to bed all right it's the next morning um I've showered gotten ready for the day and now I'm gonna continue to crochet the arms I'm gonna sit here and watch some videos and yeah <laughs> It's not a hat it's what the hair is gonna be connected to um don't ask me how I made it I have no idea I made like a circle and then like I don't know I don't know but it, it's it's okay once I sew it down it'll fit okay um, I just have to put the hair on it so it's gonna be like that and the hair is gonna be on it so I'm gonna do that <laughs>
Okay, I sewed on the hair, finished the hair. It's like a little rose and I sewed it on and my stitches are not clean. I did a whip stitch. They're not clean, but I don't care. I would rather it be secure because it's going to a baby. Oh, my cat wants me. Oh, honey. So I'm going to, all I have to do is embroider the face or figure out how I'm gonna do the face. I don't have embroidery thread or anything. So I might have to go to the store for that and do the tail. So I'm gonna do the tail. And yeah. Joann's I got some embroidery floss I don't know how to embroider I've never embroidered anything so we're gonna just figure it out um <laughs> this is the current situation we have I don't remember what I showed last time but I've got the ears on and this is the tail but it looks so cute. It looks so cute. next no it's the same day same day um it's a s later that day um i finished it at like 3 30 i want to say i took a break i want to say i chilled you know but that's just not me because i immediately jumped into another project and i did finish that one as well that one was a lot easier listen i've got like two weeks off well, I'm like a week into my two week break. And so I've just been crocheting. Like I've just been knocking out projects left and right. And when I have a thought of a project I wanna do, I just do it. So that's why I do it. Don't judge me. Either way, I finished. I am not good at embroidery. We learned that today. It's not my strong suit. It's not my craft. I've never embroidered anything ever. And I know that like there's certain ways to do it. I just didn't do that that way. I just did it however I thought you could do it. And it just didn't turn out very well. So the face looks weird. I'm not gonna lie to you. It looks weird. So here it is. My little Luca. He's cute. He's cute. I'm not like gonna lie. And for my first time crocheting amigurumi, I think I did a pretty good job. Um, I didn't follow a pattern per se, but I did watch a bunch of videos on how to crochet dolls, how to like attach the parts. Um, I watched a couple of videos of people crocheting Luca or Alberto. Um, but they were in other languages, so it was very hard to understand, but I did take inspiration from those, like, uh, I can't, like, the hair. The one video, she did the hair like this. But either way, it wasn't necessarily a pattern I followed, but it was videos, because I needed to learn how to do it. This is the face. <laughs> it's wonky. It's wonky. Let's just... Let's just be honest, it's wonky. 
my stitches around attaching the head are not clean, but I'd rather them be secure than clean. This is going to a baby. That's why I didn't use safety eyes. And the neck is attached weird. This is the tail. It's sewed on this way so that it can like, you know, stick out that way. Very cute. For this, I just kind of did whatever I thought was good. What did we learn? We learned that I'm not good at embroidery yet. Maybe I'll get better. We learned that I made the legs too thick. I think if I'm going to continue to learn how to crochet 3D amigurumi, dolls, stuffies, whatever you want to call it, I think I need to follow patterns, at least for a while. That's how I learned how to crochet everything. Blankets, scarves, hats, sweaters. I followed patterns. But yeah, thanks for watching if you watched. I don't know. The heater keeps turning on and ruining this because I know you can hear it when it does. But I'm, I'm done. <laughs> you know?